down to the weather and take a look at this. Overnight, you may have gotten some rain and seen lightning. Well, check out this video from our Dallas camera as the lightning fills the sky. Chris says this was a powerful strike. And Chris, you were explaining this is like one in 10 strikes or positive or something. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so just like a battery, there's a positive charge and there's negative charged uh, lightning strikes. And the most common one is negative. And that usually is the one that goes cloud to cloud. You'll see the, those kind of branches across the sky. But whenever you have a single bolt like this, that is a positive lightning strike. And the thing with these is they last 10 times longer than a traditional lightning strike. So I want you to watch. They're 10 times stronger. They last 10 times longer and they're also usually 10 times louder. So whenever you have that time that all of a sudden you see a flash of light and then immediately the big boom, the ones that almost shake the house. Well, that is actually a positive lightning strike. And if we could go back to that video one more time, Chris Campbell, our director, uh, I want to point something out. I want to show you how long that this bolt lasts. So you see the initial bolt, look at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, of course, this is all slowed down, but you're seeing multiple other flashes that are happening within this. So you can see how powerful this is. And the reason why they're stronger is actually because it's coming from the top of the cloud. These are also the ones that sometimes can be called bolts from the blue because they're so high up that they can actually go miles up to 10 to 20 plus away from the storm. Now, typically they're straight down in this fashion, but whenever you see that one single bolt, you know, that that's one of the big ones and a coincidence nine out of every Every 10 people actually live from a lightning strike. Well, not usually from those. So 10% are positive and 10% of people actually die whenever struck by lightning. Of course, the ones that do survive, there's always a long lasting effect, but we're not going to be a statistic today, right? Because we're actually going to try to avoid that lightning. Here's a look at one of our new products. This is called lightning intensity tracker. So by the time we get to about four o'clock, that's where we're starting to see a moderate range for that lightning intensity. I think we're seeing more numerous storms at this point. So notice that four to about six, that's where we're seeing a pretty active zone. So that's the ones where we're really seeing a lot of flashes, multiple lightning bolts uh, overlaid on some of the storms that we're tracking on uh, our radar. And then once you get to about seven to eight o'clock, I think that we're starting to dial things back a little bit, but we still have a chance for some lightning through the overnight. But if I were to say the most active lightning zone, it's pretty much from about four to eight o'clock across the area in general. And then also heading into tomorrow, anytime you have a thunderstorm, you're gonna have a possibility for this, a low to a moderate threat also for tomorrow as we have more storms that move through the area.